not capture it. A report was made to the house of David. Syria has joined forces with Ephraim. And the heart of Ahaz and the heart of his people began to tremble like the trees of the forest shaking in the wind. Jehovah then said to Isaiah, Go out, please, to meet Ahaz, you and your son Shear Jeshub, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool by the highway of the laundryman's field. You must say to him, Take care to stay calm. Do not be afraid and do not lose heart because of these two stumps of smoldering logs because of the hot anger of reason in Syria and the son of Remaliah. For Syria and Ephraim and the son of Remaliah have plotted harm against you, saying, <coughs> Let us go up against Judah and tear it apart and conquer it for ourselves and let us appoint the son of Tabiel as its king. This is what the Sovereign Lord Jehovah says. It will not succeed, nor will it take place. For the head of Syria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is reason. Within just 65 years, Ephraim will be completely shattered and cease to be a people. The head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is the son of Remaliah. Unless you have firm faith, you will not be firmly established. Jehovah continued speaking to Ahaz. Ask for a sign from Jehovah your God. It may be as deep as the grave or as high as the sky. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, nor will I put Jehovah to the test. Isaiah then said, Listen, please, O house of David, is it not enough that you try the patience of men? Must you also try the patience of God? Therefore Jehovah himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman will become pregnant and will give birth to a son, and she will name him Emmanuel. He will eat butter and honey by the time that he knows how to reject the bad and choose the good. For before the boy knows how to reject the bad and choose the good, the land of the two kings whom you dread will be completely abandoned. Jehovah will bring against you and against your people and against the house of your father a time such as not come since the day of Ephraim broke away from the king of Judah, for he will bring the king of Assyria. 